Hey guys, this is Samjibit with another quick tip to know how we can add a whole number or decimal numbers in specific cell columns rows in Excel. Well, formatting cells in Excel save a lot of time when it comes to add certain type of data. Here on the sheet, I have three columns named products, quantity and prices. We know that the quantity we count in units can't be written in decimal numbers. Whereas, prices of products can be written in both the whole as well as in decimal forms. Anyhow, we know that we can use data validation rule anywhere we want and since there is nothing else to be written in quantity and prices column, we can select the whole column to apply the data validation rule. So to apply the data validation rule, just go to data tab and select data validation. It will open a small pop-up window and since we are going to add the data validation rule to the quantity column, after clicking on the allow field drop down, select the whole numbers from the provided option. And we can't have an open-ended quantity in our stock. So let's select the between option in the data field. And when a product will not be in the stock, the minimum quantity will be zero and let's write 300 as a maximum quantity of a product. Here you can see that the quantities of the products I have just written are in the range we specified and also written in the whole numbers. But as soon as I wrote the quantity of the product stool above the specified range, it has given us an error message mentioning that the added quantity is not according to the data validation rules. And after knowing that, we can correct it right away. Exactly the same way, it will not accept the negative value or a value that is written in decimal form because we can't have a negative stock in the actual world nor a unit can be written in decimal form. Well, prices can be in the form of a whole as well as in a decimal form. So, go to data validation and select decimal option in the allow field. And we certainly can't have negative and open-ended prices. So, select between option in the data field and then specify the minimum and maximum limit of the prices. And here you can see that it has not given us any error message when the prices have been written in the whole as well as in a decimal numbers. Moreover, if the prices will go above or below the specified range, it will surely give us an error message. Anyhow, by using the data validation rule, we can eliminate the inconvenience of adding the wrong values which can save a lot of time and the work will be completed efficiently. And I hope this will be helpful for someone out there and thanks for watching.